I had a conversation with someone with an English bull terrier from Working Lines, from French, and they said that the Petterdor Terriers that uh, yeah, won, and it won, that they had a female was not that tough. And it's the one that bred the Working Line English bull terriers. So, for example, if the pigs would bite her, she first she would bite, but once she gets bitten back, she would more bark instead of hold. And that was a drawback as compared to the English bull terriers. Then I said, a dog like that, and also that uh, owner said, a dog like that, like I said, <laughs> would not uh, keep with a badger in the, in the ground either. So it's a non-breed specific character of that one female Petodot Terrier. Also female Petodot Terrier is significantly smaller than the male. For example, the female that you see now on the left is about 7 kilograms and the male is about 13 kilograms. So almost half the weight. It is already quite a big female. So that being said, if that female would be like 5 kilograms, you can imagine that they are like very small as compared to the hawk. Especially to the compared to the bull terriers, which are oftentimes 30 kilograms or more. So you would be rather uh, would be better off by using a male that they'll carry to begin with, which is almost double the weight of a female. So that's point one. The other point is that, especially if you compare it with a, a hawk, a European swine or a Russian swine, they can just fit the entire petrel terry, even a male, into their mouth. So that's quite an adventure for a dog to take. And I think it is. <laughs> only smart if a pattern of terrier would steer, steer clear from the mouth and attack for example the ears, nose or what you see often time with pattern of terriers they attack the rear so that's just good practice in my opinion that being said a dog that will cower away all the time and bark is not a pattern of terrier by character could be by breed but not by character because petrol terriers are often dogs that are quite silent and of the catch dog type so instead of baying like the German Jacht terrier are more like these are quite hard dogs if not very hard also those that are hunting in a pack and use petrol terriers say that they are too hard for their own good especially against the hawk and it could be better to steer more away. That's also the reason why, for example, Heide Terriers, which have quite a lot of um, German Jacht Terrier in their bloodline, the German Jacht Terrier is already a lot less hard, but also very uh, tenacious as compared to the Petrol Terrier. And also the tenacity of the German uh, Jacht Terrier comes from the Fell Terriers. Is genetic makeup. So the pedigree of the German Jacht Terrier, being a very tenacious hunter, became as tenacious when they introduced the Fell Terriers instead of the Fox Terriers that they began with, because they were too soft for what they had in mind. And even uh, those softer German Jacht Terriers are considered by many too hard for their own good, so they bred Westfalen Terriers to be a little bit more meek and uh, also easier to live with, and they bred Heide Terriers. And Heide Terriers also carry Everdale blood, which makes them a little bit more meek, but also gives them a lot more body and strength. And they also add bull blood to make them stronger and more tenacious again, and also add body and strength. So if that is the case, normally for hawk work, a petrol terrier is way too small. They use petrol terriers, however, as a catch dog and they are quite good at it, even though they are very small, because they are so extremely brave and hard type of dogs. 
and oftentimes they use more than one dog to yeah, secure the rock and then this is not such a big trouble anymore also they are less dog aggressive as compared to for example uh, pitbull terriers which are also very good and uh, brave and harder and stronger still but are also quite a lot of dog aggressive uh, troubles in many a hand and also uh, pitbull terrier is bred <coughs> as a combat dog so they excel at that but they're not that much uh, bred as hunting dogs although they can do it all very often but they not have the nose the strong feet and the stronger coats that pitbull terriers do have so all in all you can use them but I don't think it's a fair uh, comparison to compare a 30 to 40 kilogram dog with for example 5 to 6 kilogram female Batadil Terrier and then the number is 1 could very well be that that one Batadil Terrier is uh, not as good as they come but they also have English Blue Terriers that are not as good as they come but it's a very small uh, type of dog to compare with quite big to very big uh, type of dogs. For your information, if you compare it to all the bull terrier breeds, the English bull terrier on average is the heaviest of them all, even heavier than many American Staffordshire terriers are. And the Staffordshire bull terrier is a lot smaller, then you have the miniature bull terrier, and then you could look at very small Boulon Terrier type of dogs like Latidel Terrier or Border Terrier. So they are quite at extreme uh, yeah, extremities of the of size and weight if you compare those with each other. Have a great day. Out.